The Bremont Longitude pays tribute to Great Britain's role in clock and watchmaking and contribution to time, astronomy and navigation. It has always been Bremont's ambition to bring the art of industrial high-end watchmaking back to British shores. The classic yet contemporary design of the limited edition Bremont Longitude marks a significant milestone in this journey. Not only does the Longitude house the brand's first manufactured movement from its new ENG 300 movement series, but it also incorporates original brass from the historic Flamsteed Meridian line at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, London. 17th century seafarers faced many dangers as they sailed on new trade routes to new colonies to undiscovered places full of promise and profits. The inability to establish longitude caused navigational uncertainty that cost both lives and money. Determined to find a solution, King Charles II founded the Royal Observatory Greenwich in 1675. The first astronomer royal, John Flamsteed, was charged with perfecting the art of navigation at sea. Astronomers believed lunar distances or the positions of Jupiter's moons could be used to determine longitude. Using these methods required an accurate map of the stars. Flamsteed devoted himself to this enormous task using a telescopic instrument to chart nearly 3,000 stars. His legacy was the Historia Coelestis Britannica. Flamsteed's work laid the foundations for accurate timekeeping and navigation. At Greenwich, the brass Flamsteed Meridian Line marks the historic position where he made his observations. By the 18th century, finding longitude at sea remained a mystery. A £20,000 reward worth millions today was offered to anyone who could solve it. As astronomers mapped the stars, an alternative theory involved the use of an accurate portable clock. An amateur clockmaker, John Harrison, dedicated his lifetime to developing exquisite marine timekeepers. As well as accuracy, his intricate timepieces featured significant innovations like the grasshopper escapement, circular caged roller bearing and bimetallic strip. Many of Harrison's inventions are still in use. His masterpiece was H4, a large pair case watch that defied accepted horological wisdom and maintained accurate time at sea. Harrison is now considered a genius. After his death, other watchmakers continued his work, simplifying his designs and adding their own improvements. Once longitude had been found, it was time to fix the prime meridian. By the late 19th century, the majority of vessels were using charts based on the Greenwich Meridian line. First established by the astronomers to record their observations, the United Kingdom had now legalized the use of Greenwich Mean Time. Even the United States was using local time based on Greenwich to simplify railway timetables as the International Meridian Conference in 1884 agreed that the world should adopt Greenwich as the center of time and longitude zero. Time was now global rather than local. The 22 jeweled ENG 300 movement boasts an enviable technical specification. Featuring a silicon escapement, the bridges are manufactured with a beautiful yet traditional gilded finish. And the automatic movement is powered by a fully tungsten rotor. Bremont has chosen to utilize a full balance bridge. To fine tune the movement's accuracy, traditional adjustment screws are used on the free sprung balance wheel, a more difficult method of rate adjustment but also more precise, and links back to early marine chronometry. Turning the watch over reveals a custom rotor and balance bridge, which have been designed to reflect the architecture of Bremont's state-of-the-art headquarters at the wing, the home of British watchmaking. The original brass from the historic Flamsteed Meridian line at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, London, can also be seen forming a ring in the back of the timepiece which features the engraved serial number of the watch. With a power reserve of 65 hours, this special timepiece has an indicator at the six o'clock position resembling the Royal Observatory Greenwich's red time ball, a simple yet ingenious visual device that gave 19th century sailors accurate time. The longitude also features a big date function and an offset seconds hand at nine o'clock.
With 150 steel, 75 rose gold, and 75 white gold pieces available, the Longitude is the first limited edition to be produced at the wing and represents an incredible leap forward for British watchmaking. The Bremont Longitude marks the first time any UK movement manufacturing at scale has been done in 50 years, since Smith's in 1971. Bremont is delighted to have formed an ongoing partnership with Royal Museums Greenwich, to whom a portion of proceeds from the limited edition Bremont Longitude will be donated. Great Britain was at the heart of watch and clock making for 150 years. With the super accurate optical atomic clocks developed at the National Physical Laboratory, Great Britain remains at the forefront of time. The Bremont Longitude celebrates the great horological achievements of this nation, both past and present. This watch tells the story of time itself. <laughs>